Hiya, Adam Payne here coming at you from Central Japan with Beers with Adam with an AW Pro Tools review. AW Pro Tools is something that's designed to take your email marketing to the next level. That said, it only works with Aweber. So if you don't have Aweber, this video is going to be of no use to you. If you do have Aweber and you actually want to up your email marketing game, then this is something that you should really consider picking up, AW Pro Tools. It's actually a monthly fee, which is kind of, I know a lot of people don't like that, I think it's $29 a month. But the month, the financial benefit of actually implementing AW Pro Tools way, way, way outdoes the uh, cost of it. So what is it? Well, it works with Aweber and you can uh, connect it into the Aweber API key automatically by just clicking a button. And once you're inside your dashboard, it allows you to do things that regular email marketers with Aweber can't do. Uh, so let me give you a few examples. Let's imagine you have a follow-up series of 10 emails. What happens when somebody comes to the end of those 10 emails? Do they just disappear? Do you forget about them? Um, let's say you want to send a broadcast email out to people that are on that list. Some people have come to the end. Some people have only on email one. So it's going to be confusing for different people. The messages in your follow-ups are going to get confused and mixed with broadcasts. And let's just say you have a list which is focused solely on YouTube marketing, but you've come across a great Facebook product. If you suddenly start throwing Facebook stuff at them, they're going to think, well, hang on, I didn't sign up for this. However, some of them may be interested and they may even become, you know, buyers of that particular product. But you don't know this and you're going to lose a lot of subscribers just by throwing unrelated emails out there. So one of the great features of AW Pro Tools is something called tagging. Now, more expensive autoresponders have this anyway. But AW Pro Tools allows you to tag your the people on your list, your subscribers, in the background. They don't see anything that happens. And it allows you to tag them with things that they're interested in. So let's just give you an example. I have an email list about YouTube, but suddenly I come across a great Facebook product. So what I do, well, I, what I could do is I could just write an email and I could say, look, I've come across this great blog post on Facebook. And I could get them to click it. The people that click it are telling me, well, they're interested in Facebook because I've told them it's a blog post and they've clicked on it to find out more. Now, the blog post itself is just a blog post. There's nothing for sale. But in the background, those people have been tagged. So in effect, they've raised their hand and said, I like Facebook. Now, two or three days later, then I can send an email out promoting a Facebook product, but only send it to the people who've been tagged and not the others. So I'm not annoying the ones that you know don't really care about Facebook, but the ones that have expressed an interest in Facebook by clicking on previous, previous Facebook posts or Facebook links inside of my emails, they're going to be the ones that have expressed interest, so they're going to be the ones that get the emails. It's really important that you only email people stuff that they're interested in, uh, and tagging allows you to do this. So what I could do, for example, I could come here to my dashboard and I could hit create a new link, okay, and then I could just call it uh, Facebook interested. And then what I would do here is I would put a link. So I could put, for example, my blog. Okay, just just for example, HTTP beerswithadam.com. Now, of course, this isn't a Facebook related thing. And then I would hit next step. Okay, and then what it would do, it would uh, automatically pick up one of my lists. So for example, Let's imagine that I want to do something that's not related to Facebook, so maybe this list, okay, CPA interested. Then I'll click next step. Okay, then I can, uh, when a subscriber clicks the smart link, you can apply a tag, copy them to a new list. So they can even click this link and then be copied over to a new list, which is called Facebook interested. Or I don't have to copy them, I could just apply the tag. Uh, I could move them to a new list, which means uh, unsubscribe them. And I could even change the follow-up on the same list. So there are so many things I could do. So I'll add a tag. I'll apply these tags, and I'll just put FB, Facebook. Okay, and then, oh, sorry about that. Then I would just hit uh, Next. And what it does is basically in the background creating the tag. Okay, let's just close this. Okay, so it's processing here, and once it's processed, I've got now I've got this particular link. Okay, this is a link that I can put inside of my emails. It will redirect to my Beers with Adam site because that's what I put in the previous page. 
but it will also, in the background, tag that user with somebody who likes Facebook. So now I can send this link, this email out with this link in it, and not only will I find out which people on my list will like Facebook, but in the future I can then send Facebook related emails which are perhaps more promotional only to these people. This is a fantastic way of um, really upping your email marketing game. You can really delve deep into this. But not only this, there's tons of video tutorials. Um, there are expert interviews with great marketers like Andre Chaperon, Ryan Lee, Justin Brooke, um, all these big time people, you know, traffic guys. Ryan Lee's a great um, membership guy. Um, Doberman Dan's a great email guy. I think there's Ben Settle down here, James Schramko. There's tons of interviews, tons and tons of value. Ryan Levesque, very smart guy, does a lot of surveys. Um, there are very there are basic uh, plans for this, but you just need the basic plan to start off with, which is uh, twenty nine ninety nine a month. And I think it's totally, totally worth it. So if this is something that would interest you, if you've got Aweber, um, then I definitely recommend it. If you're thinking about picking up Aweber, get Aweber first. You know, get used to Aweber. Don't just buy this along with Aweber because you're going to be uh, wasting a few weeks while you try and figure out Aweber. But get Aweber first, then pick this up. You know, once you start building your list, and you'll notice that your unsubscribes will go down, your list will be happier, and you'll actually get more sales as well because you'll be promoting stuff. Um, to people who actually want it. So all in all, AW Pro Tools, I've just shown you one feature. There's tons more stuff. There's tons more things you can do, but videos are kind of going on in time now. So make sure if you want to grab AW Pro Tools to click on the link below and pick it up. It's a great program. I highly recommend it.